That's a quick video. Someone came in just as I started. So for a thousand years people have been baptised and that does look very old, doesn't it? <sighs> old box pew, look. Not a very big community. <sighs> special though, isn't it? It's special. Peaceful, it's a peaceful feel about it. Very peaceful. Very special for a lot of people. Even got bells hanging down there. At least I've been, I've seen it. Feel the peace. Plain old walls, look at the curves in the walls. Please put your money in the wall safe. So this is off the coastal path. Colbone is the name. Colbone. I can walk back now, I've got here safely.
The name Red seems to be common here. Surname Red and Irving. Irving. Elizabeth Red. John Red. Another John Red. Lots of Reds. Lots and lots of them. It's difficult to video when people are around. I managed to do a bit of inside the church. See even more Reds here. Ambrose Red. Thomas Reds. Richard Red Richards. <laughs> what a name. Reginald Earl Irving Red. So Irving and Red seem to be very common to this to this parish. And we have some very old ones here. John and Susan Red. He died in 1849. His daughter died in 18... Could be 36 or 56. But here we are. It's beautiful, isn't it? It was worth walking for. And I've got, I've got, I've got the big walk back now, of course. But I have managed to... Video this church. Where lots of red people lived. Married, buried, baptised here. It's a lovely church. It's very peaceful. So David Calcutt QC came to Little Wood in 1968 and lived there until his death in August 2004. In memoriam of his loving wife Barbara, a devoted aunt, fondly remembered, lived here until July 2015 and rests here beside David. In memory of Lawrence Matthews, priest in charge. 1975 to 1987. There's another view of the church from here. People have just gone in there, so. And a beautiful coombe. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's some more plaques here. Something, something and... Praise. Right, I don't know what this. I can't quite read that. I'll take a picture. Right, so there we go then, everyone. This is Colbone, a small, small hamlet of Colbone with its church, Biano or something it's called, Saint Bianano's. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. I've got the leaflet. No. Saint Bianano's church. In the Assizes Rolls of 1280, it is recorded that Thomas, the chaplain of Culbone, was indicted for what he had struck Albert Ash on the head with a hatchet and so killed him. God, this kind of incident does now take place in our tiny parish. My goodness. The name Colburn is thought to indicate a Celtic religious site and is a corruption of Kilburn or the Church of St. Buno, pronounced Baino. He was a famous Welsh saint born in the late 6th century. He rescued St. Winifred from the King Caradog and died 642. Many Welsh and Celtic missionaries visited the west of England.
Anyway, I can add all that to the um, video description. Over and out.